Sander Kuiken, mechanical engineer, diesel development. Sander, we drove the Volkswagen, the 2009 Volkswagen Touareg diesel today. Yes. And we've got a, some of the numbers in front of us. The diesel gets 407 pound foot of torque. Yes. While the, Volk, uh, the Volkswagen Touareg V6 gasoline only gets 265 True. pound foot of torque. Why does diesel get better torque than a gasoline engine? In this case, it's um, especially because of the turbocharged intercooled diesel engine in comparison to the naturally aspirated gasoline engine. That's why we got much better performance, especially in torque with the diesel engine. Yes. What would you give up if you had that much, if, if it, in a gasoline vehicle, to get that same torque? Yes, it is possible to get the same torque with a gasoline engine if you put turbocharging onto the gasoline engine as well, but then of course you should give up um, both cost and mileage as well. If you have the same emissions as gasoline and diesel, or would one be better than the other and still have the same torque? Um, it's about the same level, gasoline and the, the clean diesel engine is right now. It used to be that the diesel engine was not, not as clean as a gasoline engine, but nowadays with our clean diesel we are at the same level as a gasoline engine. Our diesel V6 gets 18 in the city and 25 in the highway for 20 combined. Your gasoline V6 gets 14 in the city, mm -hmm. 20 highway for 16 combined. Why does diesel get better miles per gallon? Okay, it's um, two reasons that the diesel has a better fuel economy. First thing is that the combustion process is more efficient than the gasoline combustion process. And, and then again, a gallon of diesel fuel contains more energy. It's got a higher energy density than uh, gasoline fuel. So I have two different types of uh, NOx reduction. Yes. In the Jetta you have a um, NOx storage uh, catalyst and you don't use urea there. You don't use the True. bad blue system. True. The, uh, but on the Touareg you use a, the, um, set the uh, SCR, the selective catalytic reduction. True. Why do you use two different NOx reductions? For two different cars. Okay, it's um, the Jetta and the Touareg are two totally different cars. We have a Jetta; it's a small, small vehicle, and the Touareg is it's, it's an SUV. And um, within the Jetta, Jetta, we were able to build in the NOx storage catalyst, which doesn't have such high demands on package situation. And um, then again, we could not put this NOx storage catalyst into the Touareg because of its high uh, vehicle weight. The temperatures go up and the NOx storage catalyst isn't suitable anymore for this application. So we have to switch to the SCR system, which has the AdBlue injection into the exhaust gas. So it really does have a lot to do with the weight and size of a Especially car? Especially vehicle weight and engine size, yes. Okay. Concerning, yeah. concerning package situation and uh, other parameters such as, as a exhaust gas temperature. Yeah. You worked with BMW in Mercedes on uh, the SCR, the Selective Catalytic Reduction for the Touareg. Uh, they have a certain amount of urea that they put in this AdBlue system. What is the uh, amount that they put in? Um, AdBlue is a fluid uh, that it's water that contains 32.5% of urea. It's a urea water solution. And why do they only put 32.5% in? Why not 100%? Then it's so that um, this urea solution in water it can freeze and at 32.5% we have the lowest freezing point. So we want to avoid putting energy into the system by heating, so we took the solution with the lowest freezing point. So if you ha because if you have to put more energy into keeping it unfrozen, that means less miles per gallon? Exactly, right. yes. All right, Sander, thank you very much. Thank you.